Thanks so much, man. I, I appreciate you. Okay. Have a great Thanks, day. Chris. No problem. Bye-bye. You know, I got something from Donald Trump. I'll tell you what that is. You know, I don't know if you have audio on this, but uh, is this my audio on? Yeah. Is this my audio on? Yeah. Like this? Um, Donald Trump, you know, when people used to come in and pitch him, you know, he, he actually got an, uh, a 15-minute glass. You know, the hourglass, but it was 15 minutes, so I don't, it's a 15 minute glass, a quarter of an hour glass, a quarter of an hour glass. And they used to come in, he used to flip it over and be like, you got 15 minutes. Alex, uh, yeah. Yeah. Is this Scott? Well, it's just, just part of the vlog, you know. Okay. Hey, this Absolutely. is part of the life, you know. I know right? right? You know, so. Can I borrow? Are you ready? It's worth that. Good, good Jaffa group right there. Yeah. So this is the builder of uh, the house. So we're th that we want to put on the land. So we'll customize. It'll be great. So it's just a perfect love fit. It all comes down to the vision. Like we have a certain vision, and you go for it. You don't settle under that. Even if you don't know how it's going to happen, it'll work out. So much, thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Right. Okay, we'll see you, my day. See you later. Bye. Well, I just, I just like, I just like that he's such a character. You know, he's just I very. <laughs> it's like though this guy's gonna make this place. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. not gonna be any like corner not perfectly straight. Yeah. And, you know, he's just you could tell. Yeah, like well, he's eccentrically anal, and that's exactly. He's, yeah. You know, I'm sitting there going. He loves his shit, you know, oh, like, yeah. and you definitely know the difference between that and just like, yeah, I could just probably throw that up there for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he has no problems, like, persuading you to maybe think this way mm -hmm, yeah. in a nice way. Yeah, yeah. No music. Or a little passive aggressive. <laughs> no, he's great. How's that? You got it? Hello, heroes. It's Dr. Zeno. We're here with Whitney. Uh, Whitney Zeno, of course. And uh, a lot happened over the summer. So we're going to just catch you up uh, with this first episode or first couple episodes to catch you up to what's been going on so we have you up to speed. So we're going to start with June. June was the last thing you saw on the We Are Heroes show. It ended with me speaking in Clearwater and in Denver and really rocking the stage with the hero, uh, the hero keynote. And it became... Like I said, it started with an idea and it became something so real that now it actually created an entire future for my entire family. This hero thing we're talking about or with our family, we just don't want it to be a one, five, six year thing. It's something that we want to be able to transform people's lives for generations to come. And so in order to do that, how I think the most important thing you have to have mindset wise is do you have the hero mindset where you're willing to put all the chips to the center of the table and bet on yourself? And I really think we did that this summer uh, leading up till now is like we said, I looked at Whitney, I'm like, listen, Whitney, I'm willing to give it all and liquidate it all to move forward, you know, and not stay the same. And so we, we just went on that journey. So that took us through June, then July. July was awesome. Uh, we went to Vegas. 
and um, we should get justice for that. So we went three days in Vegas. You rocked it. First time you went to four National days. Champions. Four days. Four days, that's right, as a black belt. And you came out with a first, second, and a third. So we're super proud of justice, and it was all the hard work. And it was, it was seven, eight years of... Grappling was so fun. Yeah, of, of all the things that you know, he worked so hard for. And you really were in, in hero mode. So I appreciate you, man. You were a hero. As usual, you'll see a lot more of justice uh, in, in the season. And skiing. I know, a lot of skiing. All right, buddy, go get mommy. There we go, so. All right, you ready? Now it brings us to August. August was that tipping point. Yeah. It was, it was the tipping point. It was when we hit a point of decision. And I really think, you know, uh, my stepdad, Stan Telchin, before he died, you know, he's 88 years old. And I said, from your wisdom, what's, what's some wisdom you could give us? And he's like, the toughest thing in life is to make a decision. And a lot of times that lack of decision prevents us from moving forward. So here we're in Park City, Utah, and we're gonna take a couple weeks, about two and a half weeks. Uh, that's our little sabbatical we do. And the day before we left Park City, we decided, let's sell our house in Houston. Oh, that's right. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So we were just, I think it was a Sunday. It was literally the day before. It was a Sunday and we're like. our friend that was a real, that's a real estate agent and she came over to the house, she got the keys, I took a tour, yep. we talked. She like prepared our house while we were here the whole two and a half weeks, like me and her yep. going back and forth and scheduling things and getting all the repairs done. And um, yeah, so it was like, it was literally the day before. And it was, it's been something in our heart that we've wanted to yeah, do. Yeah, it was we a love, someday, you know, it was like, yeah, well, someday, was, yeah. but someday is the it eighth day of the like, week. We were you like, know? oh, four or five years, yeah. something, you know, but it's like, this is really where we wanted to be. This is where we want to raise our boys. Yep. We have a lot of amazing And then school here. starting here. Yeah, yeah. So we were like, let's just, Boom. let's we did do it. it. Yep. So for me, I'm going to go over this concept and definitely put this on the blog. For me, um, for me, it represented like a, a cleansing, a rebirth. You know, Jim Rohn said it best. He's like the human beings, a human, we were the only ones with the willpower to rip up the script and start new. Like a, you know, an animal is instinctive, so they have to just do whatever they're instinctively to do. But a human being could say, you know, today I'm going to rip up the script and rewrite the script. It's it's amazing. It's like you're willing to give up stuff. It's I'm so willing to give up or even take what someone would consider a step back mm -hmm. for the future, you know, and to be able yeah. to do some amazing things. And we have already seen and uh, felt the benefit of the uh, relationship capital and everything that's been happening here. And uh, so we'll move forward and we're, we're kind of creating it as we go. So I'm doing like an all out assault for the next year in the, in the health, in the health world and the health realm as well, where, you know, you'll, you'll, we'll be, we'll be doing a lot more trips. You'll see some amazing things going on.